Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, uh, there has been the presence of the God here this morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm telling you right now. I tell you, a lot of you I don't know. A lot of you don't know me, but we still got something in common. We know him. Amen. Amen. But let me ask you a question this morning. If you know him and you really love him, stand up and just raise your hands up and say, Glory to God. A part of his family, I'm telling you. Uh, there ain't nothing like being a part of God's family. There's nothing like knowing that he's in our presence. Uh, I'm telling you, without his presence, it's no good. And thank you this morning for that. You may be seated. Uh, and I, I had a whole lot that I thought I was going to say, but that's been changed. <laughs> Uh, I learned a long time ago, you don't come between food and church folks. <laughs> if you, if you want to quench the Spirit of God, then you come between them and food. <laughs> and I'm telling you now, but I'm looking forward to that. But Brother Harry, uh, as he mentioned, I, I've been knowing him, I think, for about 36 years, uh, right along there. And uh, Brother Harry is a special individual to me. Uh, he, he's been a lot of help. We spent a lot of time together. Amen. We rode from Buckatuna to Hattiesburg to Laurel, <laughs> a many a day uh, together. And our conversation was one that I know for a fact was being heard in heaven itself. Amen. And thank the Lord for that. Thank the Lord for that. And some of you I know when I was pastoring in Muckatuck, uh, I'm telling you, time, you know the old song, time has made a change. <laughs> time, I used to could recognize people, but I can't anymore. I don't know why y'all got old. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Brother Bud, and, and uh, I don't let just anybody sit that close to my wife. <laughs> but, but, Brother Bud, I... <laughs> I've been knowing him long enough now. He was, he was, him and Sister Pauline, they took care of us. Uh, yeah. We were just a little young spurts when we went to Bucatana and was pastoring there. And Brother Bud and his family were special to us for sure. Uh, they fed us uh, a many a meal, Brother Harry, and, and others of you here too that come to church out there. I've been to your house several times. And appreciate y'all very much. Sure we do. And, but I tell you what, this morning, God's good to us. Amen. And I, I'm telling you, this that, that I've seen and that I've heard in here this morning is a, is a blessing. You may not know how much of a blessing it is to see these little ones. And I'm telling you, Amen. she started it off right. Amen. Amen. Jesus loves me, yes. this I know, yes. for the Bible tells me so. Yes. Listen, there's no greater message than that this morning. And everything that went on from that until we walked on the streets of glory is going to be what was it. We, we were hearing here this morning. That, and by the way, by the way, the song that was saying, I know my Redeemer lives. Let me ask you this morning, do you know that? Amen. Do you know that your Redeemer lives? Do you know that it lives inside of your heart and inside of your life? And that He is the major theme of our very existence this morning. If it wasn't for Him, then we wouldn't be here at all today, none of us. And I thank the Lord for that. But God is love, is he not? Uh, look over in 1 John, and I, I'm not going to listen. It's it's nearly about 12 o'clock, Brother Harry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you ain't heard the bellies growling. <laughs> When 
they get deep, that means you're getting serious. <laughs> in 1 John, just for a couple of verses here, down in verse 18, he says, There's no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out all fear. And I'm so thankful for that. God, be with us this morning. God, speak to us. Bless our hearts, our souls, where we can be a greater blessing for you. Lord Jesus, today in your holy name we pray. Amen. As we begin to look at listen, I can honestly stand here and say this morning, Brother Harry, that the, out yonder there's some crazy people. I'm telling you right now. But in here, there's some people in our right mind and crazy for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. that's going on out yonder on the outside of the worldly folks, of the worldly crowd. Let me tell you, you've got the not just the future, but the now. Uh, these young folks, I'm telling you right now, they stirred me up uh, listening to them and seeing the excitement within them of doing something for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you, as a church this morning, we got our hands full in taking care of these. Let me just say this this morning. Listen, there's nothing like even heaven itself rejoices over one soul that's being saved. But let me tell you this morning, I believe that heaven rejoices when they see Christian folks, saints of God, rejoicing and getting closer to Him and loving Him in a more openly way. Listen, we don't have anything to be ashamed of. We don't have anything to fear because if we've got God's love living inside of our souls and inside of our hearts, then
when he decides to leave it, he gonna let me know because I'm going with it. <laughs> huh? He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. So if he leaves the throne, I'm going with it. Amen. I got news for us. He's not going anywhere. Huh? As a matter of fact, he created where he is. <laughs> Y'all say ain't nobody gonna take my gun, that's all right. <laughs> Mine either. But there ain't nobody gonna take him away from me. Yeah. 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 I'll guarantee you that he's more perfect than anything else in our life. Listen, we gotta keep that in our minds. We gotta go over and over that every day. That devil, you're not in control. You're not in charge. You're not the one that's all powerful. You Powerful, but you're not all powerful. Right. Jesus Christ yes. is still the all powerful one. Amen. He is still Jehovah. He's still the self existent one. He is still the I am. He is still the I will be in the future. Yes. Amen. He's the one I'm going to serve. Amen. 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 He's the one that I'm going to follow. I'm going to watch for his footsteps and where the light of his path leads. That's where I want to try. Amen. Amen. Oh, listen. I, I do want to, want to try like the old song says. I want to try where angels fear to go. <laughs> Amen. I want to go in that higher place. I want to go in that place where I of an almighty God. I'm going to tell you, when God's with you, the devil don't have a chance. Huh? You hear what I'm saying? I never will forget years ago. Years ago. In one of our Sunday school classes, the, the teacher had put a poster up on the Sunday school wall. <laughs> And the picture that was in it was Christ walking down a little narrow path through the woods. And Jesus had this little lamb by the front foot like a paw. And that little lamb was walking right along beside of him. And down in the distance in that path, you could see the old devil. As a roaring lion, he stuck his head out from around the little rock road hood. And that little lamb looked at that old roaring lion, and he just pointed up toward Jesus, and he said, I'm with him. <laughs> and the next picture of it was that old roaring lion done with back and hid behind that rock. Let me tell you something. The old devil is going to be hid, and he's coming. We in his presence. Yes, and he's in ours. If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done. Let me tell you something. If his words abide in you, then you better know that his love is there with you. And his love casteth out all fear. Listen. Yes. I don't fear the devil in the sense of trembling. I tremble. At the name of Jesus. Jesus is the one. Yes. That's right. That we better fear. That's yes. right. Huh? That's yes. right. He's the real one. Yes, he is. <laughs> He's the real one this morning. Yes. And what these little ones and you add those too. Y'all come on through. Y'all y'all listen, y'all gonna get up there like he's folks one day. But it's God in the midst. See, I don't know what tomorrow holds. I don't know. But I know I, I, like you said, I know who holds tomorrow. But the thing about it is we don't know. 
You, you and I, we don't know what God may allow to go on in our lives tomorrow. Right. We may face, face things tomorrow that, that we've never faced before. Let me tell you something. It's not hardly a week goes by any longer that I don't see things that I've never seen before the whole time that I've been in the ministry for Jesus Christ. I've never seen it. Never seen it. Little town where we live up in Eupora. How many of you know where Eupora is? Eupora. All right. Well, I know your brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, you couldn't go through there without getting touched, could you? <laughs> right there. Well, people in Eupora is just like y'all, they go crazy. Going crazy. I'm talking about. I'm talking about folks now that. Now listen to me. To show you how the devil works. I'm talking about people that go to church. That's right. That's right. Every Sunday. That's right. Now listen to me. And they think they don't. But the city attorney for you poor is a sodomite living with another man and they hired him to be the city attorney. These two men go to church every Sunday and nothing's ever said. just hired a city planning commissioner. One of what? He saw my too. He was with a man. Got him a place there. You poor. I pray for these folks. They think they're all right. What I'm saying is this. The devil will blind you in a minute. Amen. If we don't keep our eyes on Jesus Christ. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you, when we have our eyes on Jesus Christ, we can see the devil working. Yes. Yeah. But if we take our eyes off of Jesus Christ, the devil will fool us before we can turn around. Amen. Yeah. What I'm saying is this. No matter how this old world gets. And, and I, I'm just going to be uplifting to you this morning. It's going to get worse. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to. According to Scripture, it's going to get worse. And we could go back and forth and where the church is going to be near and all of this, but it don't make any difference. The difference is we better be ready whenever He comes to get us. Whether it's through death or whether it's through being called out of His Amen. We better be ready. See, the Bible says that God takes care of the issues of death. You know what that means, the issues of death? If we leave this old world by this old body returning back to the dust by us being put out under the grave, this old body, then God's going to take care of it. One day he's going to raise us up. Right. That's just the issue of death that God's going to take care of. Amen? Amen. Now, if we are living and see him come back for the church, this body ain't going to heaven, folks. So it's going to die too. But I'm going to tell you what. It's going to be so quick till you're not going to know it. It's going to be in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and we're going to meet yonder in heaven somewhere in the sky. And I'm going to tell you what's going to take place then. He's going to take care of the death issue. We're going to have life eternal. Amen. Amen. Huh? When God takes care of the issues of death, 
to be honest with you folks this morning, I'm not worried about dying. Hello? Amen. I'm not worried about dying because I know I'm going to die. Yes. One way or the other, I'm going to die. Yes. So why worry about it? I ain't planning on taking those people trying to get rid of these wrinkles and grow me some more hair. <laughs> I'm just going to let it go. <laughs> I'll be around my own help that way, but I ain't going to worry. But what I'm saying is this. we got a hard road before <laughs> As Christian folks. But I'm going to tell you, if we remember who it is that we're following, it's going to be worth the journey. It's going to be worth it. Because when it's all over and done with, what I want to know is this <laughs> when God takes me out of the oven, I want to hear him say, Well done. <laughs> Yes. We coming out of the oven one day. Yes. We coming out of the oven. Let's pray. God's Holy Spirit. We leave in the soul of it than even if it is now. And we know He's going to be with us all the way. See? God loves us. Amen. And he'll show us that love even when we don't know what to do. God will show us that love. Not only will he show us that love, but God, you remember when Adam, and, and I'm trying to, oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought that was thunder. <laughs> Y'all remember when Adam and Eve in the woods. Y'all yes. remember when God went in the woods, would you? you? You remember when God said, Where art thou? You know what God was seeking more than anything else with that of Eve? He wanted them to know of everything else. See, they was having a devil issue. Huh? Let me tell you something, folks. Until we breathe our last breath, we will not have a devil issue. Until we breathe our last breath, the devil is not going to give up. Let me just let me just say this right here. You know. I remember the time when seemed like older people. They wasn't as hard as they are now. No, I, I'm serious. I, older people used to could talk to them and they would still have a tender spot. But I'm telling you, older people now is getting just as hard-hearted and cold-hearted as anybody you would be. And I'm talking about those that don't know Jesus. Yes. 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 They're getting harder and harder to reach. Do you remember when Adam and Eve was there and God said, Adam, where are thou? God knew where they was. Amen. Yes. And by the way, God was in their presence. Yes, he was. He was right there in the woods with them. Yes. But you know what he was desiring? For Adam and Eve to realize his presence was there. Yes. Yes. That he had not left them. He had not left them. He was right there with them. Let me tell you something, folks. God loves to be. Presence, I act a little different. <laughs> uh, 
when I feel more of God's presence. Yes. Things sometimes just don't seem normal. That's right. But when God's in our presence, yes. that's not normal. Hello? That's something heavenly itself. Amen. From the very throne. Yes. God loves us and he'll love us through God. God desires our presence and he wants our presence at all times. Amen. But not only that. crazy the devil's crowd gets and no matter how much harm they try to bring to God's people God will take care Amen. Yes. Yes, he will he will yes. I want to find myself every day at a place to where I know and I realize where God will take care of me. Amen. You know, man, I've done live way over half my life. <laughs> you got a lifetime ahead of you. That's what God wills, amen. Amen. Yes. Well, I can look out across here and I can say most of us here have done lived way yeah. over half. Amen. Amen. Yes. Some have done started enjoying that plus years after 70. Amen. <laughs> That's what the Bible says. Blessing we made it to seventy. We made it after seventy. Did. Do you know what it? What scripture says? After that, those years coming on after that, it's going to get harder. It's not going to get easier. It's going to get harder. Brother Bud, I've had aches in these old bones. I didn't even know bones was there. <laughs> I, I just I want God to just wrench me in that Holy Ghost all. <laughs> I've tried WD forty, it don't work. <laughs> Brother Bud, I've no. And, and that's what scripture lets us know. If we live 70, then above 70 things is going to get worse. Yes. It's going to. And I'm telling you, God said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. He didn't say, if this old body works the way it's supposed to, then I'll, I'll not leave you. He didn't, he didn't have any little fine print. He just simply said, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. And I believe that. Amen. Huh? Amen. Well, let me tell you something, folks. I believe I could leave him if I chose. That's right. But I believe that as long as I'm walking with him, folks, he's going to be taking me by the hand. Amen. Just like that little lamb that he did. And when the old devil comes around, all I've got to say is not even get behind me. See, all i got to say is, I'm following Jesus. <laughs> I'm following Jesus. Amen. And everything, like that old song says, everything's going to be all right. <laughs> and I believe that, folks. I, I'm telling you. I don't have enough sense to not believe it. Hello? Amen. 
If I had that much sense and I started not believing it, I'd get rid of some of it. <laughs> if we would realize God's going to love us through it all. Yes. Huh? God wants to stay with us. Amen. Be present with us. Amen. All the time. And he will take care. Yes. Yes. If we remember those three, three things, I'm going to tell you something, folks. These young folks will see something they desire yes. even Amen. greater. Because yes. the world cannot give what they can find right. in God's presence Amen. and in God's yes. love. But adults, you can't eat. That's right. You can't, you can't find it anywhere else. It's in God, brother. Yes. It's in His hands. Let's yes. stay in this yes. I know you do, but I know how the devil is, too. I know you know that God's real. Amen. I know you know. I know that you know that he loves you. I know you know that. But let me ask you this. How real is he in your life? How much of his love is there being shown through your life? Are you fully satisfied this morning? That if this whole life was ended today, you'd wake up. <laughs> Woo! In God's arms. Amen. Huh? Amen. Do you know that this morning? Amen. Do you know you would? Do you know that you would be in that place where that great banquet table is spread. Amen. And you're talking about a homecoming. Amen. <laughs> That'll be the greatest homecoming yes. there's ever been. Why? Because that's where all the family is going to be together. Amen. Never more to depart. Amen. Amen. I want to say this right now. From the youngest one here this morning to the most mature. I've learned some things over the years. <laughs> I don't say older. <laughs> but from this one to this one, I can honestly say this. I want to see you in heaven. Amen. If I never see you here, I want to see you in heaven. Don't want to miss out. Don't want you to miss out on that, but it's up to you. That's right. God's promised us what he'll do. That's right. Now, if we make a vow to him, we need to keep it. Yes. Right. We need to keep it. And that's up to you. Amen. We love you.